Hi, today is day 26 of getting off to a great start and today I'm so excited. I want to talk to you about preparation. Preparation is key to success. If you don't prepare, then you're preparing to fail. What do I do to be prepared for my jewelry shows? So I want to tell you, when I first became premier over three years ago, I was not always prepared. And um, it just came over time. I learned my lesson. and But at the beginning, I was unprepared for my jewelry shows. I would get there and I would be a hectic mess. Um, I'd forget things. I would have stuff everywhere in random bags and was so unorganized and I was stressed, didn't know what I was doing. So after several jewelry shows, I finally made up my mind to be more prepared. And so today I want to talk to you about how I'm prepared for my jewelry shows. So I have this bag. This is my Premier Designs organizing bag, okay? And inside of this bag, I have my guest folders and my pens and my dream job folder, I like to call it. I have my little clipboard. So the night before my jewelry show, I get everything prepared. I will get my guest folders made. So these guys and inside my guest folders i make sure they are all nice and neat and filled with a mini catalog a hello gorgeous survey sheet you can make it whatever survey sheet you want i have in here my tips to accessorizing sheet from pennylacy.com the we love premiere sheet talking about how to join our family because we always want to give them that opportunity another mini catalog and a receipt because they're going to need to place an order. Okay, so I make sure the night before that these are made and ready to hand out to the guests. Now another thing that is in my organ organizing tote for my shows is my little cup. Okay, and inside my cup I have all those tickets okay so as my guests come in I've got my tickets and um, ready to give to them for the on-time drawing and then inside of here I also have my calendar so we always want to make sure we are ready and prepared to schedule a jewelry show so we want to make sure we have everything we need dates and all ready to go I have my dream job folder so I can do my after party at the end of the show and tell them all about Premiere and what it's done for me and what it can do for them. I also have the little gorgeous incentives bracelet, okay? And I tell them if they stay for my after party that they will get their name in a drawing for that beautiful bracelet. I also have, this is very important, that Hostess clipboard, okay? So make sure that um, out of your checkout binder, you have your clear protective sheet, okay? With that Hostess's information sheet in there. And then as you collect your orders from that show, you're gonna take the surveys they hand you and the receipts they hand you and put it in there with that hostess information sheet. So that way when you get home from that show, it's all together in one safe spot. And then inside of here, I make sure to always have plenty of those hostess information sheets blank for uh, the future jewelry shows that I'm gonna schedule, okay? I also have, of course, my flip chart for during my show backwards and um, inside of here are my letters so P for premiere, C for jewelry care, G for golden guarantee, J for jewelry, H for the hostess plan, B for big money game, 
S for survey and shopping and special. And then back here at the back, I have some fun little style tips. Um, a new thing I'm, in, I'm including in my show, which I'm going to talk to y'all about tomorrow. Telling them all about how to um, pull a look together so that they know how to dress so that they can wear their jewelry. We'll talk about that tomorrow. catalogs in here okay our new mini charm catalog our big catalogs and I cover them in these little protective sheets off of the incentive site it keeps them nice and neat and um, then also a spring catalog okay so have those and make sure that your name phone number and web address is on every one of your catalogs just in case one of them gets taken home I like to keep a hostess packet made up and ready to go and um, okay it's got catalogs in here I like to have these made up at all times so it's got the catalogs in it it has the 40 guests in four minutes the we love premiere sheet the tic-tac-toe sheet and the pre-sale order forms all inside of that this exclusive bracelets in these cute little bags off the incentive site as well um, so that I can thank her for hosting the party for me and she gets that now she may have chosen something else one of my other exclusive bracelets um, so I have those other options that I do for my hostesses in there as well you pick whatever incentive you want to do okay but have it ready and always make sure it's on hand so you can thank them and show the guests their cute gift they're getting another thing I do to prepare for my jewelry show is have my jewelry go ahead lay it all out the night before of what I want to show okay so I personally use this um, tackle box from Walmart and inside of here I have all the jewelry that I show during my party so I show Rustic Diva and I show Cape Cod and I show Cape Cod mixed with our fun little good as gold pendant I show Phoenix I show Willow I show Cityscape I show Dust and a lot more okay um but i show a lot of jewelry during my presentation because i think when they see it come to life it helps my sales um, but at the same time i don't want to show too much and it be overwhelming so i have this and i keep it like this and during my show i'll pick out the pieces and i will show them on my mannequin okay so i take off the pieces i put it on the mannequin i show them all the fun things that it does and then when i'm done with that piece i take that piece and I put it onto my T-bar, okay? So that way it's hanging up nice and neat for everybody to look at and shop through after my presentation. Okay, so at the end, all my pieces I show are going to be hung on this. Now another thing you want to make sure you have ready to go at your jewelry shows is your um, little bag for all of your boxes okay so during our booking activity to schedule future jewelry shows we're going to stack up those boxes whatever booking activity you decide just make sure it's what works best for you and that you practice it and you're prepared for it so for mine I stack up my boxes showing them how much free jewelry they can get and in inside every one of my boxes there is a peppermint okay so make sure that you have your boxes filled with the peppermints or whatever you're using and have your boxes ready and on hand in a bag and inside of here I also have my um, booking incentives so I tell them if you play my game you're guaranteed one of my exclusive items and you can't find these anywhere or buy them out of the catalog and they're only from your favorite accessory stylist from Premier Designs want to have your own girls night out and play in my jewelry and hang out with me and your girlfriends then um you're gonna take a box and you're guaranteed one of my gorgeous coil bracelets 
or my Hostess exclusive bracelet, or I also have a ring that you can possibly win. So my cute little rings, and they say hope on them, okay? So you're guaranteed one of these gorgeous exclusive pieces. So always have those exclusive items on hand so you can show them what they could get. Then once they get their box, you know, I say, um, what'd you get? I got a mint. That's because you're meant to be a hostess and you get to pick which item you want. I'll bring it to your show as your thank you gift. Okay. Um, and then the next thing that I always have on hand is my diva bag. And inside my diva bag, I have um, fun little prizes like um, jewelry protectant for people who are allergic, um, cute little dollar from the Target section, dollar Target section, little dollar um, journals, um, little pens, notebooks, um, jewelry polishing cloths. I have a bag full of just cheap dollar prizes that are super cute. Um, but they're cheap and so whoever wins the most diva dollars or the person who wins the on-time drawing gets to pick something as a prize out of my diva bag okay so always have your prizes ready and be prepared or else you'll be frazzled and so stressed out that you didn't have everything ready to go before the show so I hope this helps you feel prepared remember preparation is the key to success so get organized prepare in advance don't put it off to the last minute, and you'll be so glad that you were prepared. I'll see you back here tomorrow for day 27 of getting off to a great start. Bye.